Now today we're dealing with this guy right here. We'll be replacing the HID bulb, the igniter wire, and the ballast. By far the biggest or the toughest part of this entire job is you have to remove the front bumper on a lot of vehicles. If you're lucky enough to get the headlight off without removing the front bumper, fantastic. But on a lot of vehicles, newer vehicles, you have to remove the front bumper. If you need a guide on how to do that, just visit our site at carsandtoys.net and on the body shop section on the site, we show on how to remove the front bumper, in this case on this Acura TL, but it's, it's similar on most vehicles in that you have some clips, some bolts, and the bumper just comes right so off. So let's start by getting clear access to the HID bulb. Now in your vehicle, you should have a back cover, something that looks like this. And in this case, it was ripped off by someone else. And the reason behind that, right here is a tamper-proof torque screw and it's very very specific in that if you use a normal Torx bit something like this it won't work you need a very specific tamper proof Torx bit like this you can pick up a set of these for maybe ten dollars like local uh, auto parts supplier but you will need one of these most likely a lot of cars have these Torx bits these tamper proof Torx bits so I'm going to remove this right now okay so that's pretty painless and if we flip the lens here on the bottom is the ballast and these are very expensive if you do have to replace it uh, used they can go for 150 bucks or so but we do have to remove it because from the ballast to the HID bulb you have your igniter and this one has melted out so we need to replace this as well So we'll lift this off of the assembly gently. And let's see if I can show you this. So back here is your igniter connection. And let's just pull this off here. Usually there's a tab somewhere. And there you go, there's your ballast. Then we'll take the igniter wire, we'll fish it out of the lens. And the igniter wire just clips on top. And there you go, there's your old igniter. All right, so let's just Match up the old and the new igniter unit. Looks okay. This is actually a used unit. Uh, I don't know what they go for new to be honest, but the used ones, I think two of these were 60 bucks because we need to replace both the passenger and the driver's side on this vehicle. And then you're just going to fish the wire from where the HID bulb is to the ballast opening. the opening for the HID bulb so we're going to first let me just make sure you guys can see this we're going to lift off this spring okay now the new bulb has certain indentations on the housing to match up for your specific vehicle so you just match up the indentations don't touch the glass because you don't want to uh, get any dirt or grease on there so first we'll place this in the igniter and then you twist it, make sure everything fits, there we go, okay, and now we match up the indentations with the housing. And then we have the reflector wire, which has a clip on the end. It goes down here. We'll route this like so. Okay. 